Today, we're taking a closer look at some of the coolest features on Earth, landforms. These are the natural shapes and structures you see on the surface of the Earth, like mountains, valleys, plateaus, and plains. We're going to explore where you can find them and what makes each one unique. Ready? Let's get started. First up, let's talk about mountains. Mountains are some of the most dramatic landforms out there. They're basically Earth's skyscrapers. Mountains form when tectonic plates collide and push the land upward. The tallest mountain in the world is Mount Everest, part of the Himalayas in Asia, which stretches across Nepal and China. It's so high, about 29,032 feet, that's 8,848 meters, that climbers need oxygen tanks to reach the top. Mountains aren't just found in Asia, though. The Rocky Mountains in North America and the Andes in South America are pretty famous. Mountains are known for their steep slopes, jagged peaks, and in many cases, snowy tops. They're also home to unique ecosystems and are often seen as places of adventure. Next, we've got plateaus. Think of a plateau as a mountain that got its top chopped off. It's a flat, elevated area that's higher than the surrounding land, but doesn't have the sharp peaks you see in mountains. One of the most famous plateaus in the world is the Tibetan Plateau in Asia. It's often called the roof of the world because it's the highest and largest plateau on Earth. Plateaus can also be found in places like the Colorado Plateau in the United States, home to the Grand Canyon, or the Deccan Plateau in India. Plateaus are often formed by volcanic activity or the slow uplift of flat regions. They're great for grazing animals, growing crops, and exploring some seriously breathtaking landscapes. Now, let's talk about plains. Plains are wide, flat areas of land that are usually found at lower elevations. They're some of the most important landforms on Earth because they're perfect for agriculture. The Great Plains in North America, stretching from Canada down through the United States, are a huge area of flat land that's used to grow tons of crops like wheat and corn. Another example is the Pampas in Argentina, which is famous for its cattle ranches. Plains might seem simple compared to mountains or plateaus, but they're incredibly important for feeding the world and providing space for cities and towns. Finally, let's explore valleys. Valleys are low areas between hills or mountains, usually with a river running through them. They're often long and narrow, with the sides sloping down toward the river. Valleys can be formed in a couple of ways. One common way is through erosion, where rivers slowly wear away the land over time, carving out a valley. Another way is through the movement of glaciers, which can create U-shaped valleys as they flow down mountains. A famous valley is Yosemite Valley in California, known for its stunning granite cliffs and waterfalls. Valleys are often fertile and have been home to civilizations for thousands of years because of their access to water and rich soil. So what's the big picture? Landforms like mountains, plateaus, plains, and valleys are all shaped by the Earth's natural processes, from the movement of tectonic plates to the slow work of wind and water. These landforms make our planet diverse and beautiful, and they each play a unique role in the way we live and interact with the environment. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you see a mountain, walk through a valley, or drive across a plain, think about the incredible forces that shaped it. The Earth is full of amazing landforms, each one with its own story to tell.